Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today's session is very important and special because we are going to discuss today about automatic trading using alerts and webhooks. By the end of today's session, uh, you'll be able to set up your own automatic trading bot with almost zero price and um, with al almost zero coding knowledge. Right, you don't need any coding knowledge, but it's good to have. Um, but what you need is um, a script, a trading view script, which can generate um, alerts in a meaningful way, which can be interpreted by the other systems. Okay, so today's session will uh, we can divide today's session into two parts. The first half, what we'll do is we'll learn about what all things or what all components required. Second half, it's more about <clears throat> doing the hands-on. Uh, set up everything and set up your bot okay let's get started with the part one so what are the things we need uh, for setting up a trading bot uh, there are mainly three things which which i can say uh, which we which we absolutely need first thing is a source which can generate a signal a trading signal so this is easily our trading view system and also um uh, a very any very good any good scripts which can generate meaningful uh, trading view alerts or signals um, and also like you know the alerts has to be in a particular format to be able to understand it has to be in a json format um, i also created uh, another video a few days ago on how to create customizable alerts in PyScript. if you if you are not if you are not gone through this video please go through this it will it will uh, it will be useful in understanding how we can create our alerts in different formats or how do we make a make our system more adaptable so that you know alerts can be um, triggered in a in a format which is uh, very flexible <clears throat> right um, and also in our example um, today we're going to use the same program which is coded here and with little modifications uh, I've already done the uh, modifications here. Um, what it, what the script will do is it will generate um, alert whenever the moving average, whenever the close crosses over moving average, it will only generate the long signal. And um, the signal will only contain following parts. It's a JSON um, alert it's going to generate. It will have target, uh, stop target, and the ticker name. We are not sending entry price here because we are going to use a market order um, and ticker information also uh, we have changed this um, format a bit because uh, the exchange we are going to use which is Bing X, uh, it understands the ticker in a different way okay so this is about the first part which is a source and what is the second part is which is a destination or an exchange or a broker where the orders are placed as mentioned before, it's going to be Bing X. Now, why Bing X? <clears throat> We're going to explain soon. So, but what you need in Bing X is um, <clears throat> once you set up the Bing X account, you need to enable publish your features um, because we're going to use the future account for trading. And once this is done, uh, you also need to uh, set up Google Authenticator, go to Account and Security and uh, set up these Google Authenticator and have a valid phone number and email ID because that's going to be needed um, in setting up the APIs which are required for auto trading. Okay, so third option, third thing what you need to do is go to API management and create an API for trading. <coughs> and um, once you create an API, once it will ask for a name, give some name and um, it will ask for all this SMS code and all these things. Uh, enter all this information and it will take you to the, um, it will create an API and it will take you to the screen, something like this. So you will get two things. One is API key and secret key. And also make sure that you enable perpetual future trading here. Spot trading is not required. And also read by default, it will be there. And the IP address restrictions do not put any restrictions because uh, since we are going to use a cloud-based system for integration, uh, we do not have control over IP addresses. So there are ways to achieve this, but uh, that's not part of today's discussion, right? So ultimately, like, you know, uh, once you set up the API key, API um, 
access you will get an api key and a secret key and this secret key you will not be able to see again so that uh, so that's why uh, what you need to do is once you see this information you just copy this and uh, store it in a safe place when where you have access to it okay so this is about bingx um, and the third component and the most important component is an integration system which bridges between the, the source and destination, which bridges between um, trading view and the alert system and the exchange, which is Bing X. So we are going to use um, a component or a, a product called PipeDream. I learned about PipeDream um, via trading view, one of the articles uh, which was picked as uh, uh, editorial pick it's by this particular user um set of shani 20 and uh, which talks about sending alerts to trading view from trading view to telegram using the same component pipe dream um i got to know about pipe dream via this article and then i started exploring it because it was really interesting and i did develop a lot of things for myself um, and my regular day-to-day uh, -day processes and all these things and then uh, i also thought you know um this would be very useful for automatic trading because uh, this platform is very um, very much handy and um, you know it's very easy to use so i started um, working on some of the things on that lines and uh, i myself created uh, since also this product allows uh, users to contribute as well so you can create your own integrations and uh, uh, request them to merge to their product and they will go through a review and uh, you know and then the testing and all these things and once everything is okay they'll merge it to that product and you can see them in production so in this case what i did is i developed this complete uh Bing X api interface for them um and it took six days to um you know um get it approved and then merge to the production and finally we have it here um and hence we can use it in our applications and anyone can use this in um use this to place the automatic trading and all these things right so the bing expense uh it's added here so um that's why that's another reason why uh we have chosen big x instead of other exchanges because um this is the only available options right now. If you are to uh, build integration for other favorite, uh, your own preferred exchanges, you can do that as well, right? I am I probably may do the same thing for a few more exchanges later on, but uh, at present, I'm just trying to understand, or I'm just trying to build a basic system, which can uh, which can be used for doing the automatic trading. <clears throat> okay so um that's about pipe dream actually so it's um you need this pipe dream system as well so remember we created api management um api keys here so what you need to do in pipe stream is um, so log into the portal there are a few things here um what you need to do is you need to create an account for bing x i already have one here i'll just mention how to do that just press connect uh, connect an app type ping x here and select this and api key and secret key whatever you have got from here post it here in this way in this field and then give a name a nickname to the application and that's all the integration um the application is integrated to pipe frame right now how to use this integration like you know the account is already there now to make use of this account what you need to do is you need to create the workflows so i already created one here so it will create uh, i've created an, a, a trigger which is maybe i'll do it again i'll remove this trigger or maybe i'll create a new workflow itself let me go back uh, i'll remove this one because it's not required anymore so we'll create a new system here and then uh, webhook and select the http request with post body and save and continue so it will create a webhook a url so take this up and then uh, let's do one thing create alert it's already there i'll delete this one create a new alert that's good because uh, it's just below fully and in the webhook url give the uh, url which you copied from the um pipe dream system so whatever the url present here you just give the same thing as a webhook url here and then press ok 
okay so it will this will generate an alert when the price crosses over the moving average so this is just simple example taken um, so do not use this program for auto trading you create your own program or you use the program which you um, already have in your uh, strategy and all these things okay so let's wait for this to cross now because we already done everything uh, it may cross now itself but it may take more some more time so what i'll do is i'll pause the script now and then once uh, this uh, crossover happens then i'll resume the script okay so the crossover happened and we generated an alert here and if you go back to the pipe dream now what we'll see is there's a new event generated so as soon as the alert is generated let me just do one thing i'll pause the alerts now i don't want more alerts to come again so I pass the alerts. Um, I'll work on this alert for now. So we got the alert. Select this one and continue. And then the next thing is what we need to do is we need to do some calculations in our Bing X in order before placing the order here. So in this step, what we're going to do is we use the Bing X, but what we do is just type custom here and um, use Bing X custom calculate leverage position. Okay, because since we do not have um, stop loss here, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate um, leverage position and use this for risk management. Um, so the account is by default selected. Otherwise, if you have multiple accounts, you can also go back to go to this and uh, select your favorite account or the ones which you are intending to use here. <laughs> the symbol, what you need to do is you can select from here. So how to do that? Go to the symbol and enter custom expression and you can see that these steps are already here so the trigger is the step the first step is the trigger so in this step what you'll do is go back to this with this is the value you want but you don't need this value you want the value whichever comes in your alert it means so that you know uh, if you use it for a different ticker you want the different ticker there so what you do is you select the path so okay whatever comes in the alert it will be used for trading okay so the trade type is market as i mentioned before uh, we'll use the market entry because uh, it's simpler and uh, will not um, it's just an example uh, which you're going through if you are interested in exploring further you can do that um, later as well okay the stop price stop price is already have we already have it here so again just select the path in the take profit price again target price is just uh, select the path again the risk is um, it's like how much percent of your portfolio you want to risk in this trade so i'll just press it as one for now and then uh, currency you don't need it uh, and limit price is required if you are using a limit order right you just test and this will generate some calculated parameters based on this input right so it's taking some time yeah there it is so it generated what's the entry price stop price target price and what is the entry direction and exit direction that is used in the next step uh, next step leverage what leverage you want to pay, uh, trade with and then uh, quantity and risk and all these things it gets calculated so once that is done the next step is to trade so let me do one more thing i'll change this to um a simple name instead of this it's like calculate right so once done you just need to do a test again so that the new parameters are generated against the new name so once that is done go back here pink x and then search for again custom and use this bracket order okay i have two more but uh, you won't get these two because this is my action. I uh, I was doing the development, so I have it in my system. Otherwise, you will only see one of them. So Bing X custom bracket order, select this one. And then symbol is again, go back to this, select the symbol from ticker here, event trigger, ticker is this. And then trade type is market, as we already mentioned, always mentioned. And then uh, entry side, entry side is again, Go to the second part where we did all the calculation just calculate and then entry side is entry direction select path exit side similarly is exit direction go back to the calculate 
and exit direction so this will just save the to buy the buy is a direction of entry uh, sell is a direction of entry and uh, similarly for exit which is like stop loss or take profit and all so leverage there is already a calculated leverage using in the calculate method so i'll just select this path position size is um, this one position size again go back to the calculate method and position size will be quantity is the position size okay and take profit price is uh, target price which is present here we can also go to the target uh, the same thing which is here target price in the calculate method i'll just use this as a take profit price also i'll add a limit price because uh, there seems to be some issue where it is failing if you don't provide limit price so but we are still going it with the market order right so i'll just uh, go back to this and select a limit price which is entry price right so do this and then do test once that is done to create an order i think i already have two orders um yeah it has created an entry order with the order id here and then the exit order with the order id here so if we go back to this and um, go back to my derivatives account see three orders i think no it's just one order okay maybe the other one got closed so i just have one order here uh, which is created 100x uh, cross margin i think i've used a higher uh, leverage maybe it got uh, it got uh, marked to the highest possible leverage. It's not using the complete leverage. Um, in one point, okay. So what is this calculated? Go to the results, calculated quantity is this much, right? Okay, it's 1%. Right, so okay, so leverage uh, became a bit, uh, it became a bit odd. That's why I think it uh, there was a bit of a mistake, I think. But yeah, well, we can fix that one. So it generated a trade and it created a trade. Now, what we need to do is we just need to deploy it here so that whenever there is a whenever there is a um, trigger, whenever there's alert triggered, um, it gets into the system and it automatically trades this so that's about it and uh, that's how you can configure your automatic trading um, be careful about the leverage i think this got me stumped because it calculated leverage pretty high if that may happen if you are doing in a very small time frame and the very small um, the tight um, bracket uh, if you are using a higher bracket or higher um, time frame then what happens is you know it may not be um, uh, you know it may not happen right um yes just be careful about this using very tight because uh, very tight uh, stop losses because it may generate a wrong uh, wrong leverage um, and it may lead to a higher position size i think that's what happened here um, it created a higher position size probably and um, so because of that um, you know the maximum loss went to ten dollars instead of one dollar it should have been a one percent but it had become a 10 percent so it's something to be uh, kept in mind i'll see i'll probably i'll also go back and see how i can uh, you know stop this or how, how i can uh, manage it better um and i'll also um, update this implementation and uh, create a pull request again to handle such cases as well right and that's all about uh, today's session hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned some things from it and thanks very much for um yeah listening to me and please let me know if you have any questions thank you bye